Welcome to OB TV, the place for news, reviews and trends from the promotional merchandise industry. Uh, today we're out and about, we're actually on location um, in Shoreditch, uh, Hoxton, very cool place to be and I'm joined by uh, Ben Sadler from Alive and Kicking. Welcome Ben. Thank you, nice to be here. A um, little bit of background, um, Alive and Kicking are a social enterprise and as you can see, balls, balls, balls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to talk, be talking a lot of balls today. Um, some of you might say that that's just a normal episode of OBTV, but um, this is a great story and actually one that we wanted to get out to you. Um, some of you already, when this goes out, have received your, your OB balls um, and these guys have produced them. Um, ben, uh, tell everyone a little bit at home about uh, yourself and, and Alive and Kicking. Yeah, well, I mean, to kick off with Alive and Kicking, uh, back in 2004, um, our founder, Jim Cogan, was out in Kenya and he was teaching and he was using one of these these balls which I personally think are a pretty incredible invention um, basically plastic bags and string but the only issue with them is they wouldn't last very long so they'd last for about, about a week maybe not even a week maybe a day and he wanted to make sure that young people had access to a really decent football right. and he thought you know what I could go home go back to the UK I could I could buy some balls in a local shop and donate them and um, he thought no I want, I want to create a local industry I want to have an impact both economically and socially and that's where Alive and Kicking was born. And the balls you see behind this and the ones that you're holding. Um, and the great thing about these balls is they're not just about you know, a good quality durable football or netball, the other balls as well. Uh, but they're also about creating local employment. So we employ um, over 150 staff, 90% of which have never had any kind of formal work. Right. Um, they support an average of, of five dependents. 75% um, wow. of our staff pay their kids through school with their, with their income from, from these balls. So it really does make an impact locally. Um, and then we also use the profits from, from selling our balls to train up local sports coaches to deliver health education. Um, so we cover many around HIV and, and malaria, so delivering life-saving messages. And we donate balls as well. Um, so we've made about, we've actually made almost 900,000 balls, wow. so approaching a million, <laughs> um, and we've donated about 170,000. And you know, producing those 900,000 balls and, and you know, the, the, the money you've donated, what, what does that mean and, and what has it done for, for, for the people that you're supporting? Yeah, I mean, so in terms of the, the, the donation of balls, so starting there, we've actually done some research over the past 10 years that each of our balls reaches 45 young people. Right. Um, so if you look at it in terms of donations, we've actually reached over 7 million young people wow. um, across community sports clubs. Um, so that's giving them access to a sport, giving them access to sport, giving them access to a really decent ball. And also our balls, we've actually had them scientifically tested and they last up to eight times longer than a standard um, synthetic ball. So wow. we do <laughs> last a good time. Um, and then with our health uh, programs, we've, we've trained over a thousand coaches. And the great thing about training local coaches is they're, they're always delivering the education. So it's not just going in for a month and passing on some information. It's actually training up coaches so they can deliver it, not just for a month, not just for a year, but actually for the next 10, 10 15 years. Um, and yeah, and in terms of employment, we've, we've uh, provided over a thousand employment opportunities. And like I said, we really focus on, on vulnerable groups. Um, so we employ people through informal channels. Um, Zambia, as an example, actually 40% of our staff um, are, um, are deaf and they've never had any work before. So right. for them, it's their first ever job. Incredible, yeah. incredible. Um, as you can see, you know, this is, um, it's actually, uh, the reason we're doing it now is obviously the World Cup's coming up, um, but, but as Ben's mentioned, there's rugby balls, net balls, mm. um, and, and again, you know, um, by coming out today to, to, to meet these guys, we've learned a load uh, that they've produced balls made from old football shirts. Um, they've made balls from, from reclaimed leather from executive jets. Um, so th there's, a, there's a lot these guys can do. And for those out there that you know don't know what social enterprise is, it is these guys are actually um, one at the first stage. You know that the production of these are, are helping people, um, and then through the profits, it's being ploughed back in to actually do some good. Um, I know a lot of you have CSR policies and um, a, a outstanding branding. You know, we have a number of social enterprises we work with um, and we're going to be bringing them to you as well. So it's not just balls, um, but obviously it's a relevant time of the year with the, with the World Cup <clears throat> less than a month away. We've still got time to get balls produced. Um, as I say, we've, we've got ours done and, and we've done our little bit to, to give something back um, because what we want to do is actually get you to buy more balls so that we can actually then um, do some more good. Um, what's the future for Alive and Kicking? Yeah, one well, of growth hopefully. So we're in three countries at the moment. Um, we'd like to make sure that those countries are continuing to grow and strengthen. And then we'll look into other countries within Africa to begin with um, and then potentially beyond that. 
Um, but for us, it's about providing more more um, job opportunities and reaching more young people. I think one thing just to add to talk about kind of impact, I think one thing that we're very proud of is when it comes to organisations making orders, we can actually tell those organisations exactly what their kind of their order has done. So how many young people they've reached, how many jobs they've created. Yeah. So that's something that we can pass on as well. Yeah, and, and again, look, don't be afraid. You know, there's there's no no bad thing of shouting about it. And again, you know, you could look at it cynically that you're going to use it as part of your PR because you've got a CSR policy. But don't, you know, at the end of the day, you're doing some good. Um, you're going to buy some balls anyway to pro- do, do the promotion. Um, shout about it. You know, shout about what a good job you're doing because what it will do is it will actually get your competitors and other people to actually think, well, we should be doing that. So mm-hmm. by you shouting about it, um, basically Ben and his team get to, to produce more balls um, and, um, and a lot more people can be doing a lot more good. So absolutely phenomenal look you know um you, you've seen on the screen the the, the code you need to, to quote please give us a call as i say we, we've sent out 100 of these balls um to, to uh, people that we think are able to order these um, when you receive your ball there is going to be a little bit of information inside um, go to the outstanding branding website um there's there's further information on live and kicking and um what these the phenomenal job these guys do um it, it's it's been a pleasure, mate. It really has. Um, an, an eye opener. Um, uh, so thank you for today. Thank you. And anything you'd like to leave um, the people watching with? I think um, I've been very lucky. I'm, I'm quite new in the job myself, but I've been lucky to be involved with the Lyman King for a long time. And I actually used to work out in, in Zambia and Kenya myself. I think I was very fortunate to see the impact that buying balls makes, not only on the, the families and the people who work at Lyman Kicking, but also the young people. So, like I say, yeah, if people do buy these balls, there is a huge amount of impact that you'll make. Brilliant. Thank you for watching, this is OBTV.